G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now I said to you with my last uh, daisy flower that I did, I was going to do greens. So here they are. I'm going to do woodruff, which is a dark green, and then olive oil, which is like a yellow green. So I'm going to do those. So they're octopus fluids. I'm not sure how many drops I want to do yet. Let's just try three in that and see what it looks like. I am using the Pro Marine Tabletop Resin today, that one, it's part B. I've got part A sitting in a hot bath because it crystallized a bit, so it's, it's, um, yeah, it's having a nice warm spa bath today. I might go one more, whoops, I just dropped some crusty bits from the side, I hate how that happens, they drop in. I wonder if I can get it. You want to try and open your bottles, not over your resin. Because the little dry, crusty bits fall in. Oh gosh. Get out. Got it. Alright, so that was four. I do want to go a bit quickly if I can, because this resin doesn't have a very long work time. Only about 20 minutes. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put two into my push as well while I've got it out. I'm also going to put a little bit of this Let's Resin Interference Gold in there as well. Just a, just a little bit of that. Probably won't even see it, but that's in there. And I'm also going to put a drop of my Bloom Pigment Paste in there as well. One little drop, it's nearly empty. Okay, that's that one. And I have got the bloom in here as well, and it's mm, a little bit on the opaque side. See, that's going quite sort of yellowish, and this is getting quite warm now. So I do need to get a wriggle on, as I like to say. How many drops did I do in this one? <laughs> I can't even remember now. I can't even remember now. All right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, gosh. Tell you what, all the stuff from the side of the bottle, I should not open it near my mould. All right, so we're pouring in this dark green. So basically, just it's, just, it's pretty simple. It's just a puddle pour couple of puddle pours. I haven't been able to perfect it yet so I shouldn't say it's simple but the actual technique is simple. I'm just trying to figure out a resin that I've got um, that works successfully. I've seen other people do it successfully but I don't have the resin that they've got. So I'm trying other things. All right and then in the middle with this olive, olive oil, olive green. Looks like a yellow to me but <laughs> Anyway, now I'm not going to put any centre in at the moment. I'm going to see what it does. I might put a centre in later on. I've got some of those little little balls there. These ones. And this is my small life edge mould that I'm using. Something in there as well. All right, let's pour that in. In swapping hands. <laughs> I'm right handed, I need my stick in my right hand. Alright, so that's that. Um, yeah, so if you want to learn how to do this particular design, you can do um, Micah's course for resin courses. Uh, we'll link it for you down below, and there's also a coupon code if you want to use that. Save yourself 10%, which is always good, isn't it? always a good idea. I'm just cleaning off my sticks. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is pour this. It's getting quite warm. I'm going to see if I can pour it a little bit slower. I don't think that'll help any. <laughs> but you know how sometimes I pour really fast and I'm, you know, trying to push everything to the outside so that it comes back in a hurry? But I just thought I'd see how it goes not making too much of a hole in the middle of the white 
um, to try and get the white to come in and close in the middle a little bit more, if that makes sense. Because when you push this into your white, it sort of disperses, it makes a big hole in the middle. But I, I just want to see if I can maybe get it to um, close a little bit more, that'll do. So for that particular pour, I'd mixed uh, 80 grams of A, 70 grams of B, and I've been doing it like this for like two years now. I'm still getting questions. Why don't you do equal amounts? Why don't you do 80 and 80? Because A is heavier than B. When you get your bottles, if they're equal amounts, weigh them and you'll see what I mean. In my experience, A has always been heavier than B. It doesn't matter what brand I'm using. And I just personally, I like to weigh it. But you don't have to. You can put it into a cup and go, okay, I'll do 80 mils of A, 80 mils of B, which is fine. But if you had to weigh both those 80 mils, you'll see that A is heavier. All right, let's put you on a time lapse um, and see what this is going to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. Um, I was going to come back after 30 minutes and put my little beads in, but um, it had said it was rock hard after like, you know, 30 minutes, 25 and 30 minutes. So I did just pop them onto this little piece of plastic and uh, I'll use them another day for, for centres. <laughs> For little centers yeah so anyway i've just got it out of the curing machine i have got a let's resin curing machine i've also got my old food dehydrator um and it's got multiple shelves in it i've shown you on another video but anyway i, I use that if you want to see a video just on the curing machines that i've got i've got two of them let me know maybe i can do that all right now this is looking relatively promising because it's got all these little tiny like effects and then the bigger ones around the outside but it looks as if things have shifted to the side but it may just be the top that's doing that I, I don't know anyway let's have a look let's have a look and this is my small fine crystal live edge mold if you want it I will link it for you down below all right, can't see anything because I used a white push. Oh gosh, I just hope it's centered. I hope it's not off. Oh, we ask a lot, don't we? We do. We ask a lot. All right, here we go. Please work. <laughs> well, that didn't really work. <laughs> I mean, the outside, yes, but because this resin cures so fast, it um it just didn't close did not close that's a shame isn't it oh i guess i'll have to put another sticker on i i do have another resin let me have a little look let me have a look just move that off to the side oh it's it's upsetting isn't it it's upsetting i'm gonna get off my little box all right so um resins that i have got I've got, I've got the super clear, um, but it, it's a two to one. It's not very thick. The Let's Resin is a one to one. That works well so far. Um, the Fast Cure, um, I haven't tried it. I'm not sure. I think it might be a bit thicker. I have got, I could try it, the Platinum Ultra Clear is really thin, the Platinum 360 is quite thin, the Platinum Art Coat, um, I have used that one, it was okay, um, Transparente I think is similar to 
Art Pro. They're about 800 CPS. The Let's Resin down there is 1500 CPS. Um, Transparente, not sure what that is. What have we got down here? The Primarine, whoops, that's what I've just used. Set in the center in 25, 30 minutes, no good. Um, I have got Mastercast. I haven't tried that one yet, so I'll be using that next time. Um, the Just Resin Diamond Coat. I think I called it Liquid Diamonds the other time, the other day. Sorry, it's not Liquid Diamonds. It's Diamond Coat. That worked okay. I can try that one again. Um, what else have I got? Craft Resin. Haven't haven't opened these bottles yet. Haven't opened them yet. Um, I could try that. Um, Ultra Ultra Cast. It's a two to one. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It it can get a bit tricky when you've got a few different resins. I am expecting some Estoyo resin next week. So I'll try that, but um, yeah, let's try this one next. I, I've only got a little bit, they're only little bottles. But um, let's try that one next, okay? See how we go with that. Anyway, back to this guy. It's not gonna stick. All right, um, I've got, in green tones, I've got these fireworks stickers and I've got some sunflowers. But because I've been doing my sort of flower type of pause. <laughs> I've been doing flowers. We will continue. Uh, we'll continue and, and do a, a flower theme. Theme is the word I was looking for. Flower themes. Um, I just get these little stickers from Amazon. There's two of each different one, so. Looking up, oh, look, there's a butterfly as well. Mm, that one might work. So there's two of those. It's that one. It's two of those. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Just want something that's just got a a nice flower that's not too big. A butterfly. I don't really want orange, I'm sort of wanting more of like a yellow china. It's got butterflies, lots more butterflies. Okay, I think these probably be um, this one's catching my eye more than the others just because it's more symmetrical. Ta da! <laughs> How's that? Now, if you think it's a bit big, you can certainly trim it off a little bit um, because I don't want to hide the petals that I do have. So, um, I think I'm going to just trim off a little bit here. Keep that. See this extra little flower there? I'll, I'll get rid of that. I don't think we need to have that there. I'll just kind of trim it away. Like so. Let's see what that looks like. This big leaf here is also in the way. We'll get rid of that one. Trim them up a little bit better, I think. Uh, there we go. How's that? I mean, it potentially you could probably trim this big one away as well, I think. I may actually trim all of them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I just wanted the sunflower. It's no point having these gorgeous little baby petals in there that I want 
um, and then covering them up, you know? So, we'll see how that goes. See how it looks? Mm, I don't think I want berries in there. I'll just trim this up. Hang on. Right, so I've left one, two, three leaves. Well, I'll probably even get rid of that one. We don't need that one either. Get rid of it. But yeah, you know, put leave whatever you want. If you want to cover it a little bit more, leave some more leaves. But I don't think I need to. How's that? We've still got still got two two leaves. Let's peel that backing off. Okay. Work out where I want it to go. Whoops. <laughs> Out there. Oh, it's down now anyway. It's going there. It's going there. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So, anyway, there it is. Probably should have moved it over a little bit more. Um, if you wanted to, I guess you could... Use one of your little, other little leaves that you've cut out. Stick that on there, just to cover up that little gap there. But, yeah, that works. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll peel that back of that one off and, and stick that there. I should have moved it all over a little bit, I think. Oh, I'm trying to see if I could... No, I can't move it. I don't think I can move it. I think that's going to be where it is. <laughs> Did end up move, being able to pick it up and move it <laughs> very carefully. I just brought it over here where I could see it properly. All right, so anyway, there it is. Um, sorry, it was a bit long there, trying to figure that out, but sometimes people like to see everything. So we did get kind of a daisy flower around there, but again, it's just not closing this was the last Primarine, Primarine, yep, um, and again it also didn't, didn't close. So I think I've tried it twice now, the Primarine. It's just setting too quickly in the center for it to finish closing. So unless I pour it really thin, I could try that um, because it, it's a top coat. It doesn't like to be poured deep. It sets really quickly. So I can either try that or I can just move on to a different resin and, and see how we go. But that's it for that one. Let me know what you think of it. My little flower in a flower series. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've learned something. Hope you like the video. And uh, I will hopefully see you all again real soon for the next one. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye for now.